Hello, this is Jenny from Healing the Wounded Heart. It often seems that the older we get, the less likely we are to invite change into our lives. It's so easy for us to settle with what we are familiar with. After all, it seems to have worked so far, so why change, we can sometimes hear ourselves saying. However, one thing is certain, that as followers of Jesus, he doesn't want any of us to settle in our relationship and walk with him. He doesn't want us to stagnate and be like some kind of stinky old pool of water. Jesus encouraged his followers by reminding them in John chapter 4 verse 14, whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Okay, no stagnant water there then. It's always good to take stock of our lives from time to time and just ask ourselves the question, in what way have I become stagnant? Now, I have been used to speaking virtually every week in public over the last few years. However, for many months now, I have been unable to do this. So I've been asking the Lord, well, what now? At last, I am beginning to sense that a change is coming. Yes, to be honest, I feel a bit nervous and uncertain as I am wondering what the Lord is up to. But I can trust that he will show me as he doesn't want me to stagnate in my relationship and service for him. So I wonder, in what areas of your life have you stagnated? Of course, we are free to remain in that position if we want to, but that is not God's best for us. I just sense that the Lord through these verses is speaking to some of us in particular. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verses 6 to 7. The Lord our God said to us at Horeb, You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Break camp and advance into the hill country of the Amorites. Go to all the neighbouring peoples in the Araba, in the mountains, in the western foothills, in the Negev and along the coast, to the land of the Canaanites and to Lebanon, as far as the great river, the Euphrates. I always marvel at how the Lord responds to our willing hearts, even though we may be feeling a bit scared or uncertain. He holds the future and he holds us. May he therefore cause us all to walk deeper in the life-giving power of his Holy Spirit flowing within us and through us for his glory. Amen.